All right, and I'll be recording this as well. So hopefully my processor does not explode. This is Garden Pause Alpha. So I have this on Ultra 4K settings. It's kind of got a Stardew Valley type of vibe, maybe with some Animal Crossing crossed in, a little bit of Slime Rancher. But this is Garden Pause. One of my friends is a lead dev at Bit and Toast Games, and he's working on this project currently. Let's see what you can do. It's probably all choppy on this as well. Hey, what's up, everyone? <laughs> yeah, I gotta have to. I have to turn the uh, the settings down here. It, it seems smooth on mine, but OBS isn't having a fun time with this. Let's see if this helps. So, okay, this is on high. It's still it's still really laggy on it. Like it looks great on my screen, but OBS is getting killed. Um, let's toggle the grass. Let's see if that changes anything. That's a little bit better. I could also decrease the resolution here. Let's see. Let's make him look like something that you all would like. Let's see. Uh, change character. Oh yeah, there's a bunny. I want a purple. Can't really see. Yeah, it'll be something. That is definitely not a purple. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I gotta I gotta do some of these streams. I gotta help my friend test this out. Yeah, garden pause. I have the links in the description and all that. But it's in pre alpha until October. It's supposed to be releasing around around December, I think is the uh, the goal there, but um no. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> All right, next skin. I want purple. Might have to deal with something close, but not quite. What is that? Oh, that's pretty close. It's our Bonnie Rabbit. Can I run? Is it still choppy? See. Yeah, it's still it's still choppy. I'll turn the resolution down just for the stream. Um, <laughs> medium. <laughs> Togger resolution. Oh, that's really low res. Okay. I don't know what resolution it's supposed to be in now, but it's smooth, right? It's better. Okay. It doesn't look as good, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, other people can stream FNAF right now. I'll get back to it. I still have some videos to go that I haven't posted. The, the green videos, I still have three more to just put together. I have all the runs done. I just have to edit those. Yeah, you can run. Yeah, shift runs. Uh, space jumps. You look back. No. All right, we're talking to him. Building the shop, delivered to Frank. Hey, good to see you arrive safely. I'm Frank. I manage all the construction work in, time, in town. Your grandparents asked me to fix up the home before they left. Can you collect 10 pieces of wood for your shop sign? And then you'll be set to open your shop at 12 p.m. Okay. Uh, can, you can plant a seed in the soft soil. Uh, all right, I need to find wood. Let's find it. This, is, I think, is stone, right? I have to pick it up. Yeah. Run! All right, there's wood. There's one. We are on a fetch quest. Hopefully, it won't be too long. I have one of the ten. Kind of wonder what would happen if I just jumped in the water. So it'll do it. Oh, okay. Can you dive? I guess you can die, but I don't know if you can dive. <laughs> I wonder if you could actually swim. Like, can you actually? There's a swim button. Doesn't look like it. You just kind of exist in the water and you can't jump out. Alright. Maybe that's a recommendation to change. Add a swim stroke or learn a mean swim stroke. I want to be doing a freestyle. 400 meter. 
I could probably not do that in real life. Hey, what's up, everyone, though? I'm gonna try to stick with checking the chat as well, because I'm not really invested in beating any modes on this game. I'm just trying to break this as much as I can. So it will be a better game in the future. Is that something? All right, get a daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy. Please deposit five coins. I need um, 10 pieces of wood. This is Garden Paws pre-alpha. It's supposed to go into alpha in around um, October and then be released around December. So I have a copy here of my friends is the lead dev of this game. If you've uh, heard of What the Box or Rocket Fist, I'm actually wearing a Rocket Fist t-shirt right here. You see that? That character from Rocket Fist? Yeah. So, um, yeah. I did a lot of, a whole lot of testing for Daniel and, uh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> Bunny can climb a mountain without any problem. All right. Yeah, give me all of those. I want all of those. Yeah, I don't even care. Open it again. Oh, I was hoping there would be more. <laughs> what, the last video? Some people thought I was drunk. I don't drink. I was just being goofy. Especially deleting <laughs> deleting the trophy. <laughs> I was like, oh man. I, I was sure that I had a, a backup. Oh, can I jump through? Oh, oh, oh no, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm so. Oh. Well, um, uh, okay. I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to be there. There's kind of a boundary here, but I thought it was stuck for good. There was a reposition there, so that's at least one thing. I know Daniel's done a lot of testing himself, so he hasn't gone into this completely without any unit testing, like most developers. <laughs> yeah, look for train bugs like clipping. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like that. Like this. I'm running this on Steam so I could take a picture. There you go. Good call. Little things like that. I don't know. Like, some of this could be... I could see that still remaining in the game. But... It's cool. I mean, this is an indie game as well. But, yeah, I'll, I'll send that over for sure. I know there's a um, submit bug report thing. And it should open up. All right, there we go. Uh, basic sim system information and a screenshot. Okay, that works. Cool. The links to the Trello as well. So if you want a board type implementation, you can do that. If you like scrums and agile stuff, or actually really Kanban, that's that's more of what uh, Trello is for. But I actually have a Trello for my to-do list currently. Just I like organizing that way. Ooh. Come on, don't die. Isn't it crazy? Four years of Five Nights at Freddy's, though. Oh, hello. Whoa, that tree is floating. That's a floating tree. Submit bug report. <laughs> All right, that is. All right. Maybe I could do that with the uh, the clipping if I find that again. Otherwise, I'll just I'll send Daniel the screenshot. I kind of wish you could have a swim stroke, you know. And Bunny can scale all sorts of stuff. Well. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if I actually got that. No. Yeah, that, I think that one got it. Yeah, that one did. Cool. Floating tree is the best tree. Why is there no UI? Uh, there's a small UI. Oh, 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 hold on one second. Oh, hold on. I, okay, I know what happened. So, 
I had it in 4K at the start of the stream, but I changed it. There. There's a the UI. There, that's going to be a whole lot better. <laughs> Y'all probably like, what is this? All right, that's going to help a whole lot. I have 19, I have 20 wood. I just haven't been paying attention, so I can build whatever. Look at him scale that mountain. What a beast. Good grief. No rabbits could climb like that. Can I jump and get that butterfly? Nah. It's pretty relaxing, though. The tree's kind of going crazy, and texture mapping is a little weird. But now they're all high res. <laughs> I think that's probably on purpose. And I, I have the resolution on low just so it's not choppy for the stream. I don't know. It's ultra smooth when I'm playing it and not recording or streaming or whatever. But mm, I'll be picky with this. Submitted as a high priority. <laughs> this is a game breaking bug. Q and A. Yeah, this is uh this is my Bonnie attempt. I can swap it. Let's see, customize character, because there is a bear. Uh what is it? Change character. Yeah, bear. Let's do a bear. Rainbow bear. There's kind of a Freddy. Uh Okay, okay. Crying Child Freddy. All right. Uh, oh yeah, I can put stuff in here. All right, we, we gotta get this mission done. Talk to Frank. What did I just do? 11 out of 10. I have 20, right? 11 out of 10. All right, hold up. No! All right, we're screenshotting that one. I have 20 wood. I have 20 wood down here. It's not 11. I think it stops after 10. All right. Yeah, give me that money. Yay! All right, hold up. Let's get back to... Let's get to the chat ones. And let me pop out this chat. There we go. Okay, I got chat now. What if you jump and pause midair? The jump seems pretty consistent on that. DJ Sterk would have really made FNAF 7. I don't know. Um, why did Daco get the Q&A with Scott? I mean, he made the bet. Like, Scott, Scott knows Daco. Daco knows Scott. I don't know Scott. Oh, I took a nap. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see what the nap does. Um, and now it's, like, almost time to actually go to bed. Time. Wow, and he, he just looks freakish. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I don't know. I, I doubt I'll meet Scott IRL. It's just one of those things. He's made a cool series. I've played his games. But, I mean, Daco knows Scott a whole lot more, so... People, yeah, DJ Sturf equals Scott Cawthon. Hello, hello. I lost the bet in UB5020, so uh, I, I got to do an interview, and I'm not really comfortable with that. Um, yeah, Scott should get a Blue Yeti mic. Have better voice quality instead of just being the phone guy. Turn him into an uh, audiophile guy. Um, let's see. Oh, cool. You have a guy done FNAF. Uh, ultimate custom my bears attack one two three yeah i mean anything you can make that helps other people with this that's that's cool so is this loss take the 10 wood to frank okay that's done that's done uh garden powers battle royale not quite is this public yet i don't mm, i think it is maybe hold up should be 
Let's see. Yeah, privacy public. Yeah. Uh, stream options. Yeah, that's good. No. <laughs> Link star. No, you are Scott. Two bucks. Thank you so much. I didn't get donations until Ultimate Custom. Like, like I, I streamed a lot on Twitch and streamed a tiny bit on YouTube, but I never got donations till then. I'm I'm fine either way. Like, I work a full time job. I'm doing very well, so I try to be very generous with whatever I get. That floating tree. Uh. Uh. That's something with the model. That's something with the model. That's got to be something. <laughs> Super, some uh, super hot fire bars. You see the one where he went against White Rapper, and he didn't say a single line, and he ended up winning. <laughs> that one was baller. I love the ones with Mute Spitta. Mute Spitta is the best. Um. Oh, oh, what is this? Little bunny. How do I get the bunny? Come here, bunny. That's a really cute bunny. I wish there were first person mode. Oh, I can dig soil. Maybe I should have tried that out. Flint, Daisy. All right, I gotta figure out what this actually does. Oh, thanks, Ian. <laughs> Do I care about the theories in FNAF, or I'm just about the gameplay? You know, from what I'm, if you if you go to the Five Nights at Freddy's Four video after I beat the, the uh, after I get the ten stars, so I get the the second. Blue star out of out of two. I finished the entire FNAF 4, the Halloween, everything. And then I'm like, okay, so the box doesn't even open. So I give my thoughts on what I think the lore is. And my thoughts were that Scott wasn't expecting that he would be successful after the first game. So he tried to piece together a plot, and some of it didn't make sense, so he had to keep on revising it. And eventually he came up with something that piled up to be a pretty pretty decent and reasonable story and so regardless of whether he had it drawn out or not at the start which I didn't think he did and I think he confirmed that in the interview that was my uh, my piece of debate I think everyone thought well either it's going to be like the creators of Mist who mapped everything out at the start of the series or it's just going to be kind of like a well you know now I'm successful what do I do um, so I mean I don't know it's such a grim plot too so I don't like that aspect of it but I, I love the gameplay mechanics I I think there's something that can be done redemptive. Huh, interesting. You can... Can you split these? Drag. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. And you can't split more than that other one. What if you stack it? Yeah, that's nice. What if you stack it over here? Huh. You can't split and stack at the same time though let's see how do I get the bunny so I, I care a lot more about the gameplay mechanics and figuring out the the uh, behaviors of each animatronic and all that that's that seems just really interesting to me the reverse engineering aspect of it especially but then figuring out ways to kind of group things together and then putting together something that works. And something optimized after everything's over is kind of cool. I do get a little bit burned out after a while of it though. Yeah, some of these some of these trees, like. Alright, those are those are weird. Maybe that's what he's intending, but it's it's different. I'll I'll let him know. I'm just gathering stuff right now. Ooh, hello. Upgrade table, chicken coop. So I need 600, uh, I mean, I need 300 bucks. Um, what FNAF game do you think is the best? Um, I really like Five Nights at Freddy's 2. But Five Nights at Freddy's World still is my favorite of the bunch. Um, costume shop, this is really expensive. I get it, let's do a chicken coop start out so 300 I need to get some cash oh that's that's a lot easier <laughs> should have gone to that grid yeah this okay can 
I talk to him? No. I jump on his head? Yeah. I get on the roof? Nah, maybe, probably. But I might be able to. Minecraft 2, no. <laughs> no. It's kind of got that... Oh, I'm about to pass out. What? Uh, where do I go? Oh, no. Well, uh, well. Oh. <laughs> I just passed out. That was very odd. What did I do here? Plant seed. Uh, okay. Can I water it. Oh, look at that. It's like Stardew Valley. Yeah, I've played like 30 minutes of Stardew Valley, so I can't really say that. <laughs> can't really say that too much. So I don't really know. Thanks for playing a closed alpha. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know with about any bugs and suggestions, big or small. We want to hear it all. Bit and Toast Dev Team. What a dev Team. Go exploring. You'll find lots of flowers and seeds. <laughs> Once you get some seeds, use the hoe to dig a hole, then plant the seed. Make sure you water it every day so it can grow. Then sell the flowers in your shop for a profit. Okay. Happy farming and selling, Grandma and Grandpa. Okay, so I really do have to farm a whole lot then, huh? Uh, let's see, can I dig anywhere? Like anywhere? Alright, we're going two and then E. Can you just dig anywhere? It looks it looks like it! Huh. That's kinda neat. And there's no real is there a, Ah, it's taking away my energy. Gotcha. So there's a limit to what you can do each day. Unless you get the pre-workout. I gotta get I gotta find the pre-workout. Daniel, please put pre-workout in this game. Scott, please put pre-workout in Ultimate Custom Night. <laughs> Did I like the interview on Daco's channel? Yeah. Did I, I didn't reset my ventilation, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Clint, I think that's 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 a pretty good analysis there. Maybe a little bit of animal uh, Animal Crossing in there too. Uh, let's see, we need to plant some daisies. Oh, that's kind of cool. E -E. We're watering all everything. Okay, and you can't rewater something, so that's actually kind of nice. They look like big old cow patties. I'm just standing in a big cow patty pasture. And now I have like no energy to run around, so let's put away that watering can. Is it true that Scott said if you play FNAF fan games, you will make more, more FNAF games? I haven't heard that. Which which FNAF was the hardest for me? Um, I mean, this this one, carving out a strategy and starting stuff without really any knowledge of the game at all, that was probably the hardest to Ultimate Custom Night in terms of the strategy. In terms of the gameplay, once we figured everything out, it was just waiting on... A lucky run. Um, none of the games are un, uh, unbeatable, to use Ultimate Custom Night terminology. I'm running the whole time. I don't, I'm not seeing my energy decrease. Maybe that should actually decrease, but I'm not going to complain right now too much. Well, I'll probably will. I'll probably send. I'll probably send a message about it. I want a swim stroke. That's ah. Uh, Something, you know? Something that shows he's not just, like, floating dead in the water. I know there's the, the circles there. This is a pretty baller game, though. And I think Tiago Adamo made the music again, so... Very nice, very nice. I still wish I could pick up the bunnies. They're so cute! Look at them! Look at them! They're so cute! gonna run everywhere there's no reason to walk if I'm not gonna get tired by running um, but if, if I started with Golden Freddy mode FNAF 2 that might have actually been a harder challenge but I started between 2 and 3 so the strategy was basically already out there it's just I had to put everything together and figure out why things did what they did and then figure out what would work so I don't know I mean ultimate custom might is the bulk of everything so overall probably Oh, look at the mallard! Oh, the duck! That is so cool! He looks all funny. He's stuck on a rock, I think. Well, maybe. Come on. Let's get him unstuck. <laughs> Am 
Am I running out of energy at all? I probably am. Whoa! It spun around. Freddy climbing a tree like crazy. There needs to be a fox. I'll recommend there be a fox. To get foxy in here. The least least difficult was Five Nights at Freddy's 3 by far. It was just... You have one animatronic, you just have to get a, a lucky run where he doesn't run at you too early. And then you just kind of sit out inside your office at 5 a.m. and then you're you're done. Like you just you sit there, you reset ventilation and then you just sit there for the entire just about an hour. And that's it. <laughs> you just sit there. You're like, yeah, I did it. Um, where is my home base? Alright, submit bug report, feedback. Um, home base marker. I'm really awful with navigation and maps. So any home base marker would be a help. Unless I haven't found it already. If it's in the game. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know where I am in the entire world. I've just been talking the whole time. Um, customized character. Next skin. Ooh, panda. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, he's still really freaked out. Customized character. Let's do next face. Oh, he's all content now. Pan, pan. Um, what else? Do I think that Scott is going to continue the series? He said that he thought he was going to be done with the series at Five Nights at Freddy's 3. He also said he had an idea of what each game would look like. And I think the implicit there is if the game proceeded that long in the series. So in terms of how he thought the blues and purples for sister location and all that. Um, and industrial for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. And then green for Five Nights at Freddy's 3. All that. Um, shop can be open. Yeah! Uh... Daisy. Daisy seed. Oh, I, I have some daisies. Oh, that's already watered. Alright. I have enough to plant one more? Yeah. How do I open a shop? Go to sleep. No. What time is it? It's 12.20. I, it's noon, and I'm like... Oh. What is this? Give me this. Give me this money bag. What is this? It's like the box in Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I was so annoyed when that box didn't open. And I did all of those stars, and I'm just like, it doesn't even open, and it still doesn't open. And Scott says that Matt Pat was correct when he implied that the contents, or maybe he said that the um, the contents of the box have changed over the years. And I'm like, man. Oh, that's cool. How do I fill my shop? I probably should have... Um, Wait, right. Uh, I should have read that. Ah! I think that he is going to take a break. He's probably going to have a few other ideas for things. It would be cool if he opened up his own studio. Like, if he made it bigger and better, where he didn't have to mastermind all the work, but if he had a new IP type thing. So, you know, new stuff. That would be kind of cool. He's got a lot of ideas. He's very creative. He's not at a shortage of those. So, oh, here we go. Uh, set up. Red Daisy, uh, Daisy, and Tall White Flower. Yeah, buy it, buy it now, yeah! Give me money. Yeah, oh, look at his face. Dude, he's rich. He's got dollar sign eyeballs. I do it right? I think so, I think someone bought a red, red, right? Yeah, 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 um, oh, sell item. Oh, that's cool, okay. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Come on, it's a flea market. Let's go. Hey, come buy this stuff. I'm gonna even get. I'm gonna get in your way. So, <laughs> yeah, sell it. Yeah, how much? Oh, ten. Oh, okay. So I gotta learn how much each one of these earn. This is really cool. Oh, that is such a cool skin. Oh my goodness. Ooh. All right, 20 gold. That's a <laughs> that's a cool pattern as well. I think you can choose all of these as well. 
Come on, you want that? You want? Oh, all right. I'll get you next time. I got you next time, fam. All right, come here. I know you're freaked out, but buy it. Yeah, you like that? Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Make a bank. This is great. Have twisted crew. Yeah, that's the thing too. He has he has a lot of stuff in the series, even in the books and all that, that has not been explored at all. You're right. You're right. You could do a uh, Chica's. Um, Chica's uh, Pizza World, right? Was that it? Chica's Party World or Pizza World? Ah. Chica's Pizza World, I think. <laughs> yeah, this game is, is pretty cool. I like it. I like that uh, the store aspect of it. That's actually really cool. I'm also kind of hoping to get the uh, chicken coop, which is 300. So I'm just about. Oh, whoa. Oh, we paid $50, dude. You get a VIP. Let me give you a coupon. Yo. Yo, come back. Come back. You're a VIP. All right, come here. Is that, that's like a mad bunny. Oh, 50 gold. What in the world? Can I uh, can I sell cabbage? I think I can. Can I sell pink hat? Ooh, okay, okay, this is cool. <laughs> Probably a little too excited here. 310, I can buy the chicken coop. Yes, okay. <laughs> Actual footage of how DJ serve would be as a salesman, yeah. Yeah, I do get a kick out of that song. I mean, if I'm giving people a good... Oh, 150! Oh my goodness. I bet I'm going to have to have that pink hat, and he just is walking away with my hopes of anything advancing in the game. So, I don't know. Wow, this is crazy. This is crazy. I don't have anything else to sell, though. Sorry, everyone. Gotta close the shop. 490 gold! All right, I gotta go back to that koala guy. I don't know where he is. Uh, I am absolutely terrible at navigating maps. Like, uh, a mini-map. Is there a map? Oh, there is a map! Okay. It looks as if I've... What was that thorn? I don't know their names. All right. Hey, Orlando, welcome! <laughs> CD Plus was in Ultimate Custom Night. I don't know, has anyone tried CD Plus? I guess it's always possible. Apparently, if you shut off your computer while you um, while you start the night and then you, tr you turn the computer on in four and a half minutes, you win the night. So that's uh, that's something as well. But um, some, someone posted a video of that, and I, actually, I need I need to try that. So uh, um, I'm not I can't do that right now because I, I I would need a laptop. Carrot seed, ooh, pink leaf seed. I need 300, so let's do that, and then that. Okay. This game is a baller. TJ Stirrup is balling. Ballin'! Alright, hopefully I won't drown here. I don't think I've been to any of these places. Let's go to the map again. Oh, I probably have gone to all of these places. Maybe. Maybe. No, I have not. Huh. We got Winky over here. We got a bridge. We got... Oh, everyone's winking at me. What in the world? Interesting skin. This is Winkville. Oh, you got my face. Yay! I can't talk to you, though. Can I just, like, grab stuff? <laughs> I don't know. I need I need to get the chicken coop. I want a chicken. I need that in my life. I've been here though. I've seen this before. Retracing my steps. And it is 6:43 p.m. here. I like turn it off or just turn the display off. Um I don't think that turning a display off would change what the processor doesn't process. I think that's, um, I think it's triggered by your computer still technically processing time. So the events have started, but Clip Team not knowing what to do because it hasn't processed stuff in four and a half minutes. So it just is like, oh yeah, four minutes, four and a half minutes have passed and then you win. I need to try that myself to see if it, if it works on my machine, but um, people have taken videos of that and I mean, that's I mean, I, I wouldn't count that as a completion, but it's at least something in the game where it's 
kind of silly. I mean, if you don't do anything, that's, uh, that's something. I'm also very happy that Scott confirmed that the cam stalling was an actual thing since the start of the series, and that it was intentional. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, like everyone's saying, that's so cheap. You don't, you didn't complete it legit because you cam stalled the plushies. And I'm like, man, you just confirmed all of that. That was great. That was great. Would you like more interviewing Scott like Daco did or a FNAF 7? I would love to interview Scott. Um, my questions would be more of lessons learned through the process and kind of valuable things to take from his experiences. I think those are invaluable. And what we got with Daco was more of a developer's commentary. And that's something I've always wanted from Scott. And I said that in the last video, but that, that's true. I wanted him to just go through his games, you know? And I thought that would be an extremely popular thing. It would be interesting. It would be worth doing. You can inspire a lot of people with that type of stuff. So I think it was a really good interview. I'm glad that, um, that uh, Team Scott didn't win on this one. <laughs> So, whatever help that I had in the process, I'm glad to have done. Um, <laughs> let's see. But yeah, it, it would be cool to interview Scott, but it would be more from the perspective of, well, you've been through a whole lot. What are some things that would be useful and beneficial that others could take and uh, benefit from, learn from all that through your process, whether it's programming or dealing with comments or dealing with the Jim Sterling negativity with uh, the negative reviews or whatever. And I mean, that's, he's a critic, that's what he does, but how you handle criticism is also uh, important as well. Yeah, I, yeah, February 31st, definitely was uh, was trolled like crazy on that. <laughs> I posted it on that too, I'm like, Doc, you get shook like crazy or something to that effect, but yeah, he, he, didn't, uh, he didn't really catch that. <laughs> it was a deer, look at this. Look at this deer. How do I get this deer? I want a floating deer. Give me a floating deer. I'm screenshotting that one. Uh, let's see. If you interviewed Scott, you should ask him why the CD Plus glitch was in FNAF 1 and 2. I believe it's because it's the Cawthon developer code. So basically. So he could finish the night because he was not counting on beating the night ever. He put in that code just to see that things would process correctly, that the night would actually complete. He also did that with Five Nights at Freddy's 4 with SC4 for Scott Cawthon, 4 a.m. And then SC6 for Scott Cawthon, 6 a.m. I don't know how many people know about that. But I don't believe they worked in the final version. But it was something that... Um, that he put in because he wasn't expecting to get through 4 a.m. He wasn't expecting to get through 6 a.m. And at the same time, maybe it was just on the easier nights. It's just something to shortcut, you know, just to test, okay, what happens at 4 a.m.? Make sure that Nightmare appears or Nightmare on for Halloween mode. Oh, you can't climb that, huh? Okay. Unscalable wall with a little bit of graphics clipping in there. I'm probably going to pass out again because I can't find where the chicken coop guy is or the koala. Oh, out of energy. Oh, not enough energy to pick up. Okay, so running doesn't take any energy, but picking up flowers does. All right. Ten daisies. Yeah. Do I, do I already have it? I have him already. 17 out of 10. What? Oh, I do. Yeah, look at that. 17. 10 and then 7. Yay. What do I get? I should have paid attention. You look cool, buddy. Bye. Uh, how do I get back? Run, even though you got no energy. This dude can run forever. RNG means orange. Uh, it's like the, the fruit, an orange. No, it's random number generation. Yes, Rob is correct. Basically, any event that doesn't require full skill. Uh, I'm passing out. No! Okay, gold spent. Negative 110. No, that that no. Okay, let me. Uh, I I got a few. I got a few here. Talk to Abby. Ten daisies. Okay. Oh gosh, that's not really a good deal. 
but I'll give it to you anyway because this is DJ Sturf's shop. Water, 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 water. Give me those daisies, though. Uh, here, you got seven, right? Uh, I can't, can't talk to her, I guess. I'm not popular enough. She only talks to people with a hundred thousand subs. Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, this is another daisy, right? Yeah, daisy, daisy, daisy. I just need one more. I don't know. People were paying me so much money for stuff. I don't know if 140 for 10 of these is really worth it. Unless the quest spawns a ton of these, and then they're just kind of, you know, there for the money. It's all about the money. All about the dum dum da da dum dum Anyone know that song? It was pretty big on ITG Customs for a while. Um, all right. There. Yeah, give me that money, boy! All right. Uh, okay. Chicken farmer. He farms chickens. He plants chickens in the ground, and then they become bigger chickens when he feeds them food when they're stuck in the ground. That's my guess. That's my, that's my theory. <laughs> it's a game theory. And more daisies. I need to find that koala. Where are you at? Ah, I'm so bad at navigation. I'm so bad at navigation. That's my home, right? Yeah, okay, that's my home because I see all the stuff out front. Good grief. If, if there's one thing I'm bad at, it's maps. I'm really bad with maps, so I always have a GPS. I was in Chicago once, and I was driving around downtown on a Saturday night really late and I ended up at this chemical plant and I was like yeah I probably need a GPS because I just didn't know where I was I was just at some chemical plant in Chicago and I'm like yeah this isn't good so that is my story um I hope you enjoyed that story can I plant stuff here? no alright what's the mail? enlarge your shop okay Ah, I still don't know where anything is. I can't find that koala. Does anyone know where that koala was? How did you know the word oof? It's from oof, right? It's from Ro from Roblox, Roblox. Um, I mean, Daco uses it a whole lot in his videos. I mean, <laughs> you can't really avoid that. Uh, oh. <laughs> just took a dip. <laughs> uh, I do not know where this koala is. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it right there. We'll see. Uh, great job on 5020 mode. Thank you. I don't think anything would have been different had I pushed through and uh, risked going to the hospital and beaten it. You know, beating it before everyone. That's still a possibility that RNG would have kept me from being first anyway, so. Um, but I think I made the right decision. Feeling good, feeling great. Alright. Purple Daisy. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I wonder how long it. Wow! I, oh, I'm just hitting my face on every wall. Alright, tell me this is. Oh, I think this is it. Yes! Finally, I found it. I can't get a... Oh, man. Come on. There we go. Yes. Chicken coop. Yes, I want this. Please. Yeah! All right. How much do I have? 270 Shop two. I need 500 bucks. So I need 230 more. Let's see. Yeah, Game Master two, uh, 378. Yes, I did see it. It's really good. Served as a good developer's commentary to the series. A lot of people think it's kind of a capstone of the series and a kind of finishing touch. Postscript, all that. I, I don't know. I think he's going to get bored and then he'll bring something back or maybe a spin-off series or something like that. I'm hoping he does come up with some new IP, though. Just because he's a creative guy and I think that this is kind of... Um, all this is kind of limiting to what he could possibly do. It'd be cool if he could uh, work on a Pilgrim's Progress 2, because there was a John Bunyan novel for Pilgrim's Progress 2. Take a 
and that. Or plant some more. Okay. Uh, five, six dandelion seed. I want to plant the carrot seeds. How do I do that? Inventory? I. Yeah. There it is. All right, we're going to plant some carrots. Because those were a little expensive, sort of. A little bit. Uh, there. Yeah! Uh, let's dig some more. It's always a rough first run through games for me. I mean, I usually do all right at the first try, but um, if I can get some time with it and actually maximize output, then that's... Uh, that's when I started to do my best. So this game is no exception. All right, open the shop, let's go. Oh, I need to put stuff on the table. Maybe that would be smart. All right, we're selling uh, purple daisies and uh, red daisies and daisy. We are selling Daisy. Poor Daisy. And is that all it can happen? Yeah, three things. Alright, come on everyone. Shop is open. Let's get it. Make this money. Take this money. Ain't no way you can take this from me. And we're gonna water this. There we go. To quote the famous philosopher P. Diddy. And uh, how do I put that away? All right, yeah, buy that. Ten gold. Ten gold. What the heck? Give me more dead. Ah! All right. Ten gold. You got the you got the senior citizens discount. <laughs> oh man. Phone guy reads reads Bible verses. That would be awesome. All right. Uh. I mean, Scott's already done that. So yeah. Five nights at Dacos. <laughs> Good. I still have. All right, I got. I got some things up my sleeve still to do, but um, it, I used to stream Twitch plays Five Nights at Freddy's. I made an engine that takes commandlets from Twitch chat. It skims the chat, and then it'll do the actions based on what you enter. It's pretty slick. Sell item. Sell item. Yeah, making bank. I need 500 for that enlarged shop, which would be very nice. I don't know how to harvest. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, no. I make my shop unsightly by putting all this stuff there. Can you use something? Yeah. Can you use the hoe on? No, you cannot use it as a weapon. Can you use a watering can on them? No. Okay, that's it's smart enough. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't have anything uh, wood here. <laughs> Buy some wood. <laughs> I gathered these from the ground. I got them from the tree. Oh, he bought it! He Five gold! He bought the stupid piece of wood. Oh, man. That is pretty funny. Yeah, they, I feel like they are ripping me off on this. Although I did get the 140 for the daisies earlier on. Maybe later on they get sick of the items. I don't know, I need to close the shop. Unless, do you want to buy it? Yeah. You want to buy a piece of wood. Okay. Ah, oh, Bonnie, I'm so sorry it's closed. Can I just give you like a coupon or something? That's a cool pattern. I like that. Bonnie, so sad. Aww. Oh, I'll gather some more stuff for you. I'm gonna make the best shop ever, and you will be proud. I hope. Eight. Plant that. Plant that. Plant that. Water that. Water that. Water that. Water that. Water that. Oh, Rob, check you later. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> Derp crew, make a fan game about me. Oh man, what are you gonna have to do? Beat all the Five Nights at Freddy's games while juggling and playing DDR and preaching a sermon and eating. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho. you saw that, right? You got the you got the edge glitch. Ooh, oh, I'll probably encounter that at some other point as well. 
So what I need to do is get 30 more dollars. I probably should have sold a little bit more wood, I guess, but uh, if I can find more daisies, I could sell those. It has to be before 7 p.m., so 19 o'clock or whatever. Um, there should be an option. There's a daisy right there. The settings are, I think, fine. Oh, while running 5,000 miles, yeah. <laughs> Don't model me as an animatronic, oh man. <laughs> Nightmare Sturfy. Oh man. Uh, where are the daisies? I need the daisies. Watch them be at the top of the mountain. Just scale the mountain like a pro. Well, oh, kind of. That was not as good as I thought. I wonder if there's a spot where you could fall out of the world. I kind of want to see if I can jump on this roof. So if, if I did this, if I'm facing this way, and then I jump, and then I'm kind of forced backwards. Yeah, like that. Like that. That's like a perspective effect. What in the world? <laughs> um, I need 30 more bucks. How I get this? Oh boy, I'm going to fall. Okay, we're good. How do I take this? I want to sell this. No! Alright, I gotta buy stuff. And then... It'll be like, what are you buying? What are you selling? I can't talk to him. Why not? NPC. Pre-alpha. Alright. Le Ooh, lemonade. Ooh, I can make a lemonade stand? Ooh. Five lemons make one lemonade. Five lemons make one lemonade. Let me send that over. I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to say that. And also, that's a ripoff. If five, five lemons make... Five lemons makes one lemonade. Five lemons make one lemonade. This one should just be one lemonade. And it should be cheaper than a hundred. Why would it be a hundred? Uh, let's do five. Psych, we're doing 20. And that's it. Do I need anything else? More inventory slots. That's kind of neat. Chest. Okay. So you... Oh, that's cool. He's got a chest on his head. It's a little odd for a hat, but you can store stuff, so it's kind of cool. He's got the extra storage. I can't buy anything from you. I don't think that's supposed to be like that, but uh, I'm somehow in your house, and I'm right next to your whatever those are. <laughs> anything here? Cloth. Huh. What does that do? You can sell clothing, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. I'm kind of curious as to the lemonade right now. Not a DD fan. Yes, I am not a DD fan. Firecat Gamer, thank you. <laughs> How unfortunate. I can't go that high. <laughs> oh, snap. Lefty. Thank you so much for the 0.99 pounds. That is awesome. <laughs> lefty, you are probably my favorite animatronic from Ultima Custom Night. I think it is the real Lefty. Like, official Lefty from the game. Who donated that. Uh, Brawl, am I on Scott's VIP list? I am almost certainly not on Scott's VIP list. You deserve 1 million subs. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to hit 100,000, like, just keeping it real. We'll see. It's just, it's a matter of, uh, anytime that there's a Five Nights at Freddy's game, 
I get a lot of attention, and then I finish the mode, and then there's nothing else really to play on it. I mean, I still have a few things to optimize on Ultimate Custom Night and all that. I'm still going to try that, but um, all the other games, like, especially the first bunch, I beat the beat the hardest mode, and then I'm just like, well, I mean, there's nothing else really to do, and I'm kind of burned out in the game anyway. So this one actually had a lot more replay value. <laughs> Ask him. Okay. You're an amazing YouTuber. Thank you. I try to do my best. I'm almost out of energy. One more spot. I need to plant this. There. Oh, I got more. Oh, I'm all out of energy. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do I do this? I go to sleep here, right? I think that's enough for a day. Can I water that? I don't think I can. Oh, you're too tired. I can't water my plants. I can't tilt my watering can. Oh, man. It's like a Stardew Value. Right, hold on, hold on. Show. Why did it hide that one? I don't know. I'm feeling like crap because life sucks so entertain me. Aw. All right, this is uh, Garden Paws. And I'm testing it out. This is pre-alpha. I, I like the game so far. I think it's pretty cool. I'm digging it. Uh, let's plant some stuff. And we're going to water some stuff. And, oh, we got daisies. Finally. About time. Harvest. Give me that. 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 Oh. Get rid of that there. Okay. Achievement unlock farmer. Nice, I guess. Uh, can I set up the table? Yeah. Oh, I got so many. Well, what do I do with the lemons? I got 30 daisies? Good grief. Can I stack another one? No. Okay, that's actually good. That's how it should be. Lemons. What do I do with them? Okay, we're going to go to inventory. Lemons. And we're... Can I drag it? Yeah. Can do that. So what do I do with lemons? Is there a lemonade maker somewhere? <laughs> There's a cash register. I wonder what to do with the lemons. Need a blender. Or a juicer. I heard... I overheard that you did a large order for flowers. Are you interested in doing more? This is me the entrance to the town. I've got an idea. Okay. Foreboding music. All right, I think this is the uh, path to town. Is it? Uh, map. I think that is correct. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, there's there it is, Charlie. Yeah. Gotcha. Let's see how well it zooms. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, no. Why does it do that? No. No, 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 no. Feedback, okay. It's not quite a bug, but it's like, map. Why does that? <laughs> Let's see. Mouse cursor. Centers after clicking, zoom, and out buttons. Maybe have an option to where the mouse doesn't go to the middle of the map after clicking a zoom button. It's kind of just. It kind of breaks the flow of the UI. Okay. I, I didn't click OK. Oh, but it's OK, it worked. OK, good. Cool. <laughs> oh man. Are you the real lefty? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lemonade is delicious. It's just, man. Uh, the lemons used to be my favorite fruit, but they're just so acidic. Like, it would always give me problems, like, later on. It would make me sick or something, you know? Too much, too much acidity. You need to drink something basic with it. 
There isn't a whole lot you can drink that's really basic. You, that would just not be good for you. So you want something, I guess, more neutral, like milk or water. That's the obvious. Um, but I would drink lemonade till I got sick, basically. Am I going the right way? Did I turn around on myself? Yeah, we're good. Let's go over here. Hopefully this won't be a fetch quest. Fun time Freddy voice. Gotta think of the lines again. Hey, no, <laughs> hey, Bon Bon! Uh, it's time for a surprise! Oh, that's pretty horrible. I would need to work on it. Kellen's got a very characteristic Fun Time Freddy voice. My voice isn't as stretchy as it used to be either, I guess, so maybe I won't be able to reach that aptitude. Um, oh, look at the chickens. Can I jump over there? Ooh! Chickens! Chickens! Oh, I got a feather. Oh, and an egg! Oh, this is great. And... Oh, poop. Well, lovely, I got poop. Wow, thanks, chickens. I mean, it's useful. Thanks. I just jumped on that chick's head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ma'am. I jumped on your little baby's head. But the chicken looks fine. A little bit rotund, but still looking pretty delicious. I mean, pretty uh, cute. And I hope I hope you don't chase me out of here because you can get violent. Bye. <laughs> One of the state fairs, I helped chase down chickens. And it wasn't, I mean, it was like a fill-in type thing. But yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting experience. Chick. Can I buy one? <clears throat> I probably shouldn't have bought that, but I don't care. I really don't care. That's awesome. I have a I have a chick in my inventory now. Did I go to the right guy? I don't even check. Let's see. I didn't. Go to did I go to Charlie? Sturf's hair is popping. What? I don't know, man. I just kind of, like, have my hair exist, and it just does random stuff every day. So I'm just like, all right, whatever, dude. Um, where is Charlie? Is this Charlie? No, I don't think so. Deliver to Charlie. What am I supposed to deliver? Oh, right, 10 daisies, right? I don't, I don't have 10 daisies? No. Uh, is this Charlie over here? Yeah, that's Charlie. All right. Charlie, what's up? Bulletin board. Go to go talk to Frank at the construction shop. All right, where's Frank? Frank. Frank is right here. Where is he? It'd be funny if it turned around and th that same dude were Frank. It's like it's it's both. It's just both Charlie Frank Johnson and. Uh, he does both. Is this Frank? The one I could not find? Yeah. Alright. Construction koala. 20 wood. I already have it. Here you go. Yeah! Did I have 44? 14, so I had 24, and then I had 20. Yep. Cool. Alright, the math was right on that one. I can't build anything right now, so... Uh, where'd the bulletin board go? But back in town. I really should probably read these messages. <laughs> JP, thank you. <laughs> it's all the chat. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. Try to voice act Bon Bon. Go to sleep, silly. <laughs> I can't go that high anymore. Hi, you're just imagining stuff. That sounded more like Fun Time Freddy than Bon Bon. Um, how do I do that at a lower register? So I'm a baritone. I I gotta go into like ultra high tenor here. Uh, hey, CK2A, thank you for stopping by. Oh, cool. 
Grenade. I see. I see what you did with that name. All right, oh, I can, I can open the shop. This is cool. Uh, I have a lot of daisies as well, so this should sell pretty well. I hope. How do I make lemonade, though? The world will never know. And how do I... What do I do with a chick? I replaced ten lemons with a chick, and what can a chick do? I need a chicken coop, right? Oh, do I have it? This is it. Yeah! Get that wood, and let's go. Yes! Chick. Place the chick. Come here. Yes. How do I feed you? Chick feed. There you go, buddy. Yeah! This is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. How I close the gate, because you are just going to run out. All right, you buying stuff? Yes, thank you. I wonder if there's a time limit on that. Probably. Ten gold each. Everyone's just paying ten gold now. I think they're kind of bored with this. Need to get new items. These are the same daisies as all the other ones, but you can buy them for a cheap price of ten gold. And... Huh. Hey, buddy. Oh, well, we ran away like crazy. That was weird. I just ran away, ran into the dude, and then he actually bought one. He got, like, intimidated or something. Can we play the game, too? This game will be in alpha in October, and then available for purchase, I believe, in December. But there's a Kickstarter open for it right now. Again, one of my friends is the lead developer of this game at Bit and Toast Games. If you played What the Box or um, uh, Rocket Fist or Laser Cats VR, all of those were games he's done in the past. And the, the first two I mentioned, I did most of the bulk testing for the game and really put it through the uh, the high levels. So. Um, it was it's it's been fun helping him out just because it's fun playing these games, but um, Yeah, it's it's cool. I'm hoping this uh, this takes off and it does really well. It seems really cool so far I just haven't gotten like any of these upgrades so far and I don't know how far to go. I, I do need to test stuff like limits and uh, Find out how to get the hang glider and that type of thing and then try to break the game. Oh you jumped dude You are cool Go go here buy one it seems that that's the pattern. They like they go up to you and then they sprint away and then turn around and then they're like, yeah, I'm gonna buy this. Here you go. Everyone's buying these daisies. This is crazy. What are my what are my thoughts about the interview Daco made? It's a great developer's commentary. Come back, come back. You're gonna buy one. Yeah. No. Yeah. Come on. Whoa, that is an angry bunny. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm really glad that Daco got to do the interview. And it's it, it, it was a good interview. Um, Scott should get a Yeti or some kind of mic. I know he's uh, he's done the phone thing and all that. But, uh, you know, because the phone guy motif and all that. But it'll be really nice to have better quality. Turn phone guy into audio file guy. It'd be simple, simple for him to do. Is this stream on Twitch? No, it is not. There are bronze, silver, and gold. Freddy, Freddy Fazbear trophies. Yes, that is correct. 8,000 points gets you the bronze, 9,000 the silver, and I I don't know if it's 10,000 or the full 10,006. Um, I don't think you could actually get 10,000 points. Well, if you had 9,800, then DD added 2 at 10, which would be just astronomically against you odds. Then I guess it would be possible to get 10,000. But you'd have 49.20 49, and then 2.10. Um, I'm just... Yeah, all right, we, we got everything there. Uh, we got to set up. I'm going to put some lemons out here. Poop. Let's sell some poop. <laughs> some flint. I don't know. Buy something. Buy some dookie. Ooh, you, oh, you! Oh, I was about to say, why'd you buy the poop right away? <laughs> you bought the flint. Flint flossy here. See, that's more of a voice I can handle. Baby, he bought the poop. You bought the poop. 
<laughs> Why'd you do this? What are you eating it? Ew! What are you doing? Oh, no! Well, okay, look. I probably need to take away the poop because I think I probably need it for something else. I don't know. Uh, here, a feather. Buy a feather. I'm just gonna put out more daisies. Uh, oh, someone bought the feather. Someone bought the feather! Hold on. How much did I get? Oh, I didn't see. Everyone's buying everything. Good grief. Keep going, keep going. I have like 20 minutes to go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you just put in 10,600 in the save file, you'd probably get the trophy. Alright, let's, uh, let's close up shop. Well, I'm gonna run out of time anyway, right? Let's see what happens at 19 o'clock. Yeah. Alright, sorry dude. Fellow panda. Let's change it around so uh, the customers don't even know I'm the same seller. <laughs> let's see. Uh, change character. Alright, we'll be a rabbit for a little bit. What color is that? Oh, that's kind of a nice little purple. Like a deep bonnie purple. And what else can I do? Sorry, it's already closed. I couldn't hold it open longer. For some reason, it just auto-closes at 7, just like real stores. Oh, what are you doing? You're trying to steal the chicken? I see you. I see you, fam. Anti-fam. You're keeping it anti-lit. <laughs> Did I ever play The Joy of Creation? No. I haven't played many of the fan games at all. It's more of just, I finished what's official, and then... I don't know, I really should play some of those games, so I'll probably play them at some point, for sure. Nothing against them. It's just my... It's my hang-up on, on some of the stuff with officiality and all that. It's like that with uh, with DDR. And In the Groove came out, and I'm like, eh, it's not really... It's not really something that's closed canon so much, and you can just add songs and have an infinite playlist, and that appeals to a lot of people, but I'm just more like, I want a game I can finish, something I can look back on and accomplish stuff and be done with, and then move on to the next thing, so... I can't talk to you. You look kind of cool. That's a nice beard. Like that beard? It's almost as if I had a beard at one point. I can't watch that right now. New intro? Alright, I'll try to remember to check that out after the stream. How's that? Um... You would have to, um, to set the AI above 20, you're going to have to use some, some kind of memory hacker, like Cheat Engine or something like that. I'm not too keen on that, just because, one, like, I've, with anything with Steam and Cheat Engine, I'm just like, nah, I, I don't want any uh, back bands ever on my account. And I know you can play it outside of Steam and all that, but at the same time, too, if I make videos with Cheat Engine, then, you know, people who are already like, well, you, you hack all the time and that type of thing, I'm like, nah, like the whole gameplay, everything. I'm explaining absolutely everything, mechanics-wise, but it's still not good enough, but if I use Cheat Engine once, I'm sure I'm, sure I'm gonna hear about it for years. Like, see, you use Cheat Engine in this video, so you're obviously just a hacker, instead of, you know, really good at the game, but also skilled with all sorts of other stuff. I don't need Cheat Engine. That's more where I'm coming from on that. What do I do with the feather? I don't even know. We're gonna put it on the, the table, though. Uh, I don't know. I still have enough money for. Uh, I don't have enough money for the bigger shop. I keep running into that that issue. Which type of games do I like? Uh, I mean, this is kind of like Slime Rancher in in this regard. Uh, I don't really like Stardew Valley that much, but I have it. You got one good chicken, good looking chicken coop. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna take all of those. Yes. Let's go and put the chicks into the coop. We're gonna take good care of them. I'm surprised the chicken doesn't just leave. You know. But you are cute. You are cute. Thank you for being cute. Goodbye. Alright, we got another chick and more chick feed. There we go. What do I do with the egg? How do I incubate this? I need a chicken. I need a hen. Little birdies. I love Slime Rancher so much. That game is really cool. Um, 
You know, I like the simplicity of it before they started adding all these extra packs, but I mean, five day rush. They got rid of five day rush. They changed it to rush mode and you get all these weird multipliers and then uh, five day rush. I wish they would bring it back. That was my favorite part of Slime Rancher and set absurdly high scores on that mode. And I love that mode because you could optimize it so much and it was it was so much fun. Um, do you ever think we'll see Spring Trap the Alpaca again? Hey, Magma, thanks for stopping by. Um, Spring Trap the Alpaca, uh, probably. I mean, I always come back, right? I guess, maybe. You're getting really tired, you'll pass out soon. Okay, let's, let's go to sleep for the day. Whoa, that was a weird intro. All right, look, let's check the mail first thing. Rewards 50, 50 coins. Okay. Complete a quest for the bulletin board. Cabbages. Okay. I just need to know the map. I, I'm horrible with maps. Finish the quest from the bulletin board. And what do I do with that? Oh. Hmm, okay. Here's another chick. Did I just not place him there? I guess I didn't. Ah, oh, here we go. One, two, and three. Clip the doo doo. Boom. Good start to a day. The best part of waking up. <laughs> Alright, we got a daisy. Oh, we're getting all sorts of stuff now. Oh, whoa, that was a weird noise. Set this up. Got more daisies. Need more inventory. Inventory space. Let's plant this. Water that. Oh, I don't want to water. It's wasting energy. No, no, I have 10 already. Oh, okay, so each one is more than one, yeah. All right, what are these? Dandelion, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, I need more space. FNAF and AR and VR. That would be cool. Uh, I got an Oculus. <laughs> if Scott really does a FNAF VR or AR, will you play it? Probably, yeah. I'd probably play it. I have the Oculus still. I was gonna sell the Oculus Rift, but then Beat Saber came out, and I'm like, it's actually probably worth keeping it for. So first game that I felt that way. The NBA experience is really fun, though. That actually is really fun. Three-point shootout. I mean, it's thunderstorming outside. Just load that up. Be like, balling. It's great. Love it. Uh, we're going to town and uh, am for map. Where's the bulletin board? I don't even know. I'm gonna find it. Where is the bulletin board? That's probably the point of the quest. Figure out where the bulletin board is. Why should be on the other side of this building? This house, and I'm just not even gonna check. So what time is it? It's 10 o'clock already, well. I do have work tomorrow as well, so. Um, 10.30, I'll probably stop the stream, so that's that's the current plan. Oh, that house is smiling, kind of. <laughs> it looks like he's decapitated by the flower. Looks painful. I'm gonna jump through the roof. Oh, wow, okay. Got that edge grinding over here. I'm do something silly with that. Oh, no. I don't have enough speed. I really need five hundred dollars. 
500 coins. I can't buy those at all. Extra space would be nice, but I don't have 2,000. Good grief. I still don't know what to do with the lemonade. Ah, oh, bulletin board, yes! All right, I can use five dandelions for a special project I'm working on. 162 gold. All right, where are you at? What was... Oh, he's right. Probably a she, yeah, maybe. Uh, dandelion? Let's trade it out, I got it at my shop. I really need more inventory. I ran out quick. Yeah, I don't have enough space. Let's go back. Wish there were a, a way to teleport home. That would be cool. Who is my most, most hated character in all of FNAF? <laughs> Who is my most hated character in all of FNAF? You know, I don't hate Toy Bonnie. I don't like Toy Bonnie in FNAF 2. Um, I don't hate Toy Freddy. I think Toy Freddy is hilarious. Night Marion is pretty much a punk. I never listen to the full line. I try to skip the audio anyway, but I mean, I've never listened to Night Marion just because I'm just so mad when I... I mean, it's more of my fault than anything. I think some of the tactics are cheap because when Ill Cheap is giving you an ad and then you click on skip, basically you're dead on 5020 mode. So you have to hit enter every time, and you have to, even if your hand's on the mouse and not the keyboard, then you're tempted to click on that, and then that's it. You're done. So, uh. There. So that's, that's what I feel about that. Um, Night Marion is one of the worst. DD is just kind of unnecessarily annoying. I wish DD were disabled on the challenges because it doesn't really make sense for her to be there. She just wrecks stuff and she can change how many points you actually get on a fixed challenge. Doesn't make too much sense. Um, this game is Garden Paws. You can check out the Kickstarter link or the Steam link. Uh, one of my friends is the lead developer for this project. It's, this is a very pre-alpha build, so... I'm testing out various things, but I'm also having a lot of fun playing it. Uh, what is... what is that shadow? I can't look up all the way. We have flowers, though. <clears throat> Am I planning on spending... okay. Uh, okay, well, let's go back. What is the most hated character in all of FNAF? Who would it be? I don't know. Each one has uh, has its own charm. I really don't like Nightmare on. Maybe that would be the answer. But I mean, it's just I, I just don't like the uh, I don't like the elements of the cheapness of all that. Logitech clicker. What's that about? Um, so you have to click multiple times before the click team counter responds and says, "Hey, it's not above zero anymore, so I can't subtract one." So my Logitech software didn't do the trick and it just wasn't fast enough. So I just programmed something up in Visual Studio that sent 14,000 clicks really fast. And yeah, it's 14,000, but the game only registers uh, like negative, what was it, 14, 14 something. Um, yeah, I tried it with 10,000 as well. It was the same result. So there's, there's no gain after a certain point. Um, uh, so I mean that's that's just I I just like to test the limits of stuff. I've done that with the previous games as well with the night caps and the nine 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 that type of thing, and it, just how the game works and how it how it doesn't work sometimes. That's uh, that interests me. That interests me a whole lot. It's kind of what I'm geared toward anyway. That's what I do. Um, inquisitive and like engineering and reverse engineering stuff. If I had a million subs, would I let would I leave my work and just do YouTube? Uh, no, I would not. Um, 
It would, it would really have to depend on everything else going on. If there's more than just YouTube going on, then maybe, but at the same time... I mean, I'm not in it for the fame, and I don't need to be famous, and there's advantages not to be famous, and I'm not famous, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm well known in some things, but I'm definitely not famous. Uh, but I mean, there there is a potential for you to, to help people out, to inspire people, to make a difference in people's lives. I mean, that's that's just something where... You know, I could I could do that, but at the same time, it's nice just to to work to have a guaranteed income. And with with YouTube, you're not going to make as much as you think you're going to make. Most likely, uh, it's just it's not as much as you would think. I don't make hardly anything from YouTube, and maybe just because I don't slam in too many ads because I think that's a little dumb. But I would rather just have no ads. But I know YouTube wouldn't wouldn't uh, pump my videos at all. So it wouldn't post it anywhere near the top of any sort of search result if I had no ads. So there's something where you have to have ads just to even be noticed at all. And at the same time, too, then they might start banning videos if you just disregard ads and you're a certain size as well. So, I mean, they just think you're going around uh, the guidelines or whatever, or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. I need to find the pink cat. Uh... Yeah. Um, so a million subs wouldn't be enough. Like, I would think for any sort of guideline, maybe the 1.2 or 1.3 million mark would be a place where you could probably safely say, I could probably do this full time, but I want to have at least some kind of backup plan because YouTube can just can ax your ads, ax your channel, whatever. You do something, you say something they don't like. It might not even be really offensive on, on a grand scale or on an absolute scale. But it could just be something that someone takes the wrong way or trolls uh, report your channel and then you lose all your income. Even, even if it's temporarily, you lose your income. And it's just, it's tough. So nothing's really guaranteed and this seems really volatile. If you're a really huge name, then sure, yeah. But, I mean, that's, uh, it, there's a difference for sure. <laughs> Snowstorm, thanks for stopping by, yeah. How much did I invest on YouTube? I guess I didn't invest anything specifically for YouTube itself outside of maybe the webcam and the uh, the blue mic. Um, so the Blue Yeti Pro here. But I got this for 125 on eBay and I got that for something like 40 or 45 maybe. And um, I usually pair it with some kind of eBay coupon or eBay bucks discount or whatever. So. I'm really good about keeping things thrifty, and I've saved a lot of people a lot of money throughout the years. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm good about finding deals, so um, not a whole lot. I did get the uh, the camcorder was a was a pretty decent investment. That was about 1,100 bucks, but I bought two of them, and I sold one of them for a lot more than I bought for initially, and I it cuts down that 1,100 quite a bit, so. I have that investment, but that's the uh, HCX1000 camcorder, so I can take that some places and you know record beach footage or something like that. So I have stuff like that. The GoPro is actually um, that was more of just like a curiosity investment because I've I've bought GoPros before in the past, but I've had to return them all because all of them have just been they've fallen short. And the GoPro Hero 6 has been pretty solid, so I've, I've kept that. Um, the other option is go with a Yi 4K, but I just, I would, I don't know. I, I, I like keeping it uh, close to home, I guess. So GoPro, if possible. Um, the company is tanking. It's kind of like the Fitbit of uh, cameras. Cause, like, all, look, compare their stocks and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, like with the whole Karma drone thing where all of their drones had some glitch where it would just fall out of the sky. And then they had to change that, and uh, they recalled everything. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I, I see that comment. Oh my goodness. Um, I I do have Honey on one of my browsers. Um, so yeah, I mean I've I've, I've used Honey before. Um, am I Mark Zuck's brother? No, I am not a robot. Um. I, I don't have to go to Congress and sit on a big battery pack to stay charged. Um, induction charge, I guess. Um, let's see. So, I don't know. In, in terms of leaving a job and all that, I, 
the place where I work, sometimes it gets very frustrating and sometimes very frustrating, but they've made it very clear a lot of times that they, they want me there and there's an element of me need, being needed there at times too. It's something where other people could fill in eventually and that's something that just everyone has to deal with. I mean, if something unexpected happens and all that, then you know you have to fill in, you have to do what you can to, to make up for the loss. But yeah, it's it's been a great place to work um, amidst all the frustrations. So I'm, I'm grateful for all that that's had, but I've also, I started at the base level and I'm at the very top level right now. It's they, they brought me up so fast. Um, I've won so many things, so many awards and that type of thing. It's, it's been a place of appreciation admits some things where the quality could definitely be better. And sometimes I wonder if it is getting better and that's the frustration. But, um, but yeah, it's, they do appreciate me there. So that's, that's the one thing that I appreciate about that. It's, it's definitely something that you wouldn't get at all workplaces. Um, so leaving there would be bigger than just, oh, well, you know, let me do YouTube. I don't think I'm that entertaining necessarily. <laughs> Y'all get bored. I got so many comments like, dude, this is this is fake because he didn't overreact like so and so. And I'm just like, for real? Like, I'm just like, yeah, I did it. And I was relieved, but I'm not going to freak out. I'm not like that. So, whatever. 50 gold. All right. That, that was the end of that quest. And there's a cave. I haven't even been in this cave. I like how the audio changed. That's cool. That is a weird floating rock, but that is actually physically possible. Mm -hmm. I need this minecart. I need this. I need to ride this minecart. I hope you put this in the game, Daniel. Please do. We need minecarts. Donkey Kong Country style, and I almost got stuck in that wall. It's a wonder wall. Okay, let's see. What is your favorite part about breaking Five Nights at Freddy's? Just the reverse engineering, and also seeing from that re reverse engineering whether a strategy could be improved based on that reverse engineering. That's always been interesting to me. So optimization is in there too. Uh, there. Pink backpack. Yeah. How do I wear it? Can I wear it? No. Chicken egg. Someone's going to find this chest and be like, Hey, I found this rare treasure, and they open up, it's like, it's that sound right there. They're going to open it up, and it's going to be like, chicken egg. What did I do? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, how do I just toggle it? How do you just toggle the torch? Yay, okay, yeah, let me just flip the switch. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if there's a, that would be cool if there were a puzzle. Like, if there were a puzzle based on this, like, find all the torches and have it in a certain combination that you turn them off and on or whatever. That would be lit, just like that. I just think it's a little silly to drown in something like this. Maybe? Actually. Hmm. 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 So if I just do this. Oh, wow. It's like swimming energy. Interesting. So it's not an oxygen meter. It's just how tired you get. Interesting. <laughs> robot me oh boy would it be like you beat you beat a difficult mode and then it's like yay we did it i should <laughs> i i was thinking about that like if i beat 50 20 mode the first time through and i just stood there like yay i did it and then it just like ended the video and that would be it that would be pretty epic i might do that at some point with some kind of game but that would be an acting job that <laughs> I do react to stuff, but just not in the same way as everyone, I guess. I try to keep it real. Um, dandelion. Oh, what? Why? Why did it drop a dandelion seed? I still have room for four more, right? Four more dandelions. No, I can collect the doo doo still. Doo doo! Another feather, I can't pick it up. Alright, I gotta figure out what to do with the lemonade and the poop, and hopefully it won't be together. Disgusting concoction. I need to open up a shop. I need to get some cash. 
I also need a bigger shop. Ah, all these things! All these things I could do, but I haven't optimized it yet. I did finish that strategy, though. <laughs> Sweet, Carlos, thank you. <laughs> Brawl. Oh, man. I will give you a genuine reaction. All right, let's see. We're going to put out some dandelions. I guess. And that's that. TJ Stir wasn't programmed to get excited for winning that. Yes. You are partially correct, maybe. Does not compute. Error. Not enough space in infra. Oh, right, right, right. I can't water that. I can't water that. Pick up dandelion. I can't. Alright, buy my stuff. Everyone, show up. Come on. Flea market time. Hey, friend. You can buy all these. Actually, you're just probably going to buy one, but you should buy at least one. Come on, buy the dandelion. Come on, come on. I bet the dandelion's going to be like 40 bucks. Okay, that's a daisy. That's 10. Come on, dandelion. Come on, you want the dandelion. No. I don't know. That, that one's looking quite a bit. Some pretty good stuff. I don't know what I can do with the pink backpack. I don't know if I can just sell it. Maybe I could. Should I get 25? Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. I got three purchases. That makes sense. DDLC. What's DDLC? Any tips for doing playthroughs? Um, I guess decide what type you want. Like, if you want to do some kind of verified, you completed a, a difficult mode or something, then you're going to want to have a more full clip of the whole playthrough. But, I mean, if you want to edit it down and make it entertaining, that's more of uh, what gets attention and all that. So those are those tend to be the more memorable things. Uh, oh, man. Just have fun with it. That's a basic thing. If you're not having fun, it's probably not worth beating yourself up over a game like I did with 50-20. <laughs> no, seriously, like work plus running plus that was, that was bad. That was really bad. Stress to the max. That was also a lot. I was trying to I was trying to keep Daco sane through it all too, because he was getting a lot of these comments too. And like, man, I just look, I look at the percentage of of positives and all that. It's a very supportive community, so I'm not complaining about that. It's like 98% positive on this stuff. So anyone forced DJ start to wear the backpack? I want to wear this backpack. I want more. I want more space. I just don't know how to get that. All right, we're gonna get this blueprint. And, yeah. Shop two. Yes, sir. Okay. What do I have next? Miner camp? Process geodes. Wow. Shop three for 3,000. It's like the hanging gardens of Nebuchadnezzar. Barn. Oh, man. There's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, this, this game's got a lot of replay potential. <laughs> a lot of uh, grinding potential. Uh, why do I have so much energy? Maybe I should just dig a bunch of garden stuff outside my house. Because that's always just beautiful. I have all sorts of dug up soil in front of your house. Doki doki. CK2A, probably not. I mean, I, I like that just basic image and then, you know, two seconds of that or thereabouts and just being done with that. Oh, I don't need anything fancy. 
I appreciate the the offer. I know you've offered that in the past. I appreciate the offer. Um, to just gonna dig up all sorts of stuff in front of my house. I probably should have put this behind my house or something so I don't see it every day. Walk out, wake up in front of a bunch of dug garden stuff. I don't know. I'm not gonna have energy to do all this in a day. Whoa! What kind of texture swap was that? Was it a shadow from uh, the sky? What time was that? Like 8 o'clock p.m.? You put that on top of one. Not really. What about here? No? Okay, that's pretty solid. Yeah, that's... That's pretty solid. Maybe move it a pixel, but that's about it. Hey, going pretty well. I don't know, I mean, maybe there could be a multiplayer battle, battle royale. This is supposed to be a multiplayer game. Uh, I don't... I don't know if that's going to be enabled yet. You're supposed to be able to, to have that. I want to harvest this one. How do I drop? Maybe I could do this. Let's do that, and then we will put that there, and then we will put a bunch of lemons on the table. Now we're going to put 10 poop on the table. <laughs> and then we're going to harvest this thing. Wow, that's a pink leaf. Okay. Daisy. I can't pick up a dandelion, though. Okay, I guess we have to go to sleep here. Um, dab. I'm like 15 years old. Uh, older than the dab threshold. Um, I have I did it just for like absolute troll laughs before, but... Stuff at the left side when you open your inventory and feed your chickens. Uh, hold on. What do I think of the game so far? Oh, I'm not going to have time to go to the coop and back. I really, I, I'm, I'm digging it. It's pretty cool. Okay. I don't like the gold spent as negative, because you, you spend positive amounts of money. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a bug. Ending the night too late. That's, that's a bug on that because that's that's noticeable I went to sleep at about 2350 ish and it's uh, I went to sleep and when I woke up it started blacking out anyway lol and then it got bright again instantly Daniel fix this <laughs> All right. All right, we're gonna do one more day here. Then I, I, I gotta get to bed. We got work tomorrow, or at least I, I, I need to eat too. Uh, I'm all messed up with my schedule right now. I need to get back on a normal everything. Hmm. Okay. Get rid of thorns later. That's kind of cool. Carrot. Oh, look at that. Oh, the shop looks a whole lot better. Oh, that's great. Dandelions, daisies, more dandelions. Very predictable shop. Uh, do we only have two tables? Oh, only two, but when can I open it? 12 and 9. All right, 12 and 19. It'd be cool to have East, uh, not a 24 hour thing. There we go. Why'd I pick up all this inventory? Why? Is it the backpack? 
I don't know. Do I have any any ideas about the initial pricing for this game? Um, no. I know there, there are different tiers on the Kickstarter. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Let me just leave Daniel a message. Yeah, nice and relaxing for sure. I'll let you know if I hear back on that. Um, checking the Kickstarter page though. Like all the alpha stuff is about about 30 US dollars. Um, I don't know, I can't speak for Daniel on this. So I, yeah, I'll, I'll wait on it. But the, the 20 or more, the $15 gets you the early digital game. It might be around the Slime Rancher mark, but I'll, 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 let, uh, I'll let him speak to that. Captain Panda, cool. Uh, this is supposed to go into... And, and thanks for stopping by. Uh, this game is supposed to go into Alpha in October. Okay. Ask Daniel how to put the backpack on. Yeah. Or is that just a sale item? Okay. I would guess around Slime Rancher price, but we will see. Dev knows best. Alright, uh, feed, feed, and feed. Yum yum! Who made that sound? Yum yum! That. Remember that? It was like some Mario Kart thing, wasn't it? Who made that noise? It was like a dumb sound effect. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? What is going on with that texture? Whoa! What? Look at the, look at the uh, logs on the fence. Whoa! Whoa! Chill! Whoa! 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 All right, those are buggy. All right. Uh. <laughs> this is a medium. Nah, it's a low. That's gonna be a. This is a display. It's not gonna affect your gameplay at all. Logs on chicken coop fence are wilding out. Bam. Look at the horizontal logs on the fence, uh, fence entryway on the chicken coop. They're kind of going crazy if you look around a bit near it. Weird texture stuff going on. Or layering. Um, have I, have I ever played Tattletale? You know, the thing with Tattletale, that whole seance part, I'm just like, oh, nah, I don't want to even be part of that. Um, it's such a good game up to that point. It's just, I don't know. I, I just have reservations about, about that in particular. Um, it's like that with the Mist series as well. I didn't, didn't play one part of it just because you have to, like, offer some sacrifice to some spirit guy deity or whatever it's like nah um what else uh is daniel going to put on xbox or ps4 or nintendo switch my guess is probably uh when, with uh what the box when it went to xbox it took off quite a bit um you could like markiplier made a video of what the box way back so <laughs> come on man um but he probably will. Like he's got all the uh, all the other games on that. 
Tattletale is meh, to be honest. It's kind of predictable, but it is it's pretty well done. It's kind of like with, with Bendy. Bendy, it's it's like a demon's chasing you. I'm like, nah, I don't want any, I don't want that junk. <laughs> so that's why I don't play Bendy. But Bendy is uh is well done for what it does. It's just I don't want to do that. Um, 30 more wood. I think I already... Yeah, I got that. Purple daisy seeds and hydrangea seeds. Yeah. Let's do that. I almost would rather not getting the purple, uh, purple daisy seed or whatever. Just get the hydrangeas because they're probably going to sell for more. I just don't know proportionally what the difference would be. Oh, cool. Pixel Gamer. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, Mist Revelation. Um, Mist 4. I played through the entire Mist series and even played... I, I got a subscription to GameTap back when I was, I believe, in high school. Uh, just so I could beat the rest of the Mist series. There were, like, co-op puzzles on the online. It was uh, Mist Online Uru Live. If you look up something so stupid... The pellet puzzles on that on the Mist Online Uru Live. You had to come up with with recipes with this machine, and bake a pellet. And you come back anywhere from four to eighteen hours later. You collect your pellet, and then you go to this place and it, you dump it in the lake. And then whatever color it makes determines how well it did. And it's just like, <laughs> why? Why? Why is this even a thing? And so people would share recipes and stuff like that. And it became like the cooking channel. Um, so we were all like doing cuisine, like pellet cuisine. But oh my goodness. Exile, I thought, was the masterpiece of the series. Riven was also really good. I'm a little salty about that because a Fire Marble puzzle, it wouldn't warn you if you were one off of something. And I had two of the places off by like one mark. And it doesn't tell you if you have any of them right. Um... Other than that, it was pretty good. Abduction is phenomenal. That's a new game. It's well, like maybe like a four-hour game tops, but it's it's really well done. It's really well done. Um, I would recommend that. I do need to play that in VR as well. Do I play much game? Do I play a, a lot of games when I'm not on on camera? Uh, every now and then I'll play 2K. Like 2K, uh, 2K17 or 2K18 with some friends, but not a whole lot. I mean, I run, I play basketball, I play DDR competitively, and like that—that that should count, I guess. But I mean, a lot of what I do is just uh, stuff relating to work or goal setting and um, getting stuff done IRL. Not everything has flourished in every area of life yet, but hopefully that will uh, will at some point work out just a matter of time so um it's almost 12 o'clock i can open up that shop as well which is cool here but yeah I, I do a lot of stuff it's just uh i don't play a whole lot of a whole lot of games i play some games very obsessively that's probably how i should put it mm. dj surf isn't playing fnaf who are you what have you done with surf yeah yeah, Brennan, I, yeah, Abduction is, is pretty sweet. I really like that game. Um, maybe some of the acting could have been done a tiny bit better. And I'm thinking of... Uh, one, of the, uh, one of the Rand brothers. <laughs> I don't think he was too convincing in this one, really. But, regardless, it was very cool playing that game. Brought back a lot of good memories. Uh, but a masterpiece of a series for sure. I just I, five was kind of uh, a royal dump though. Five, uh, I don't know. I didn't like End of Ages at all. Uh, you could, could have done without that one. Uri was okay. It was different. And Yisha was a little bit weird in that one, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I've I've beaten all the hard modes for sure, but I still have some stuff that I I, I want to do. There's also the um, Twitch plays Five Nights at Freddy's that I've. I already have, but I could I could try to swap that out and uh, change it around so it's uh, it's swiping the YouTube chat and so I could change that around. This will be YouTube plays Five Nights at Freddy's. That might be kind of cool. Um, stuff like that would be kind of fun. I've thought about some other projects that uh, I will tell you about if I actually do them. 
but um, I just got to figure out if I want to do them or not, and whether I have the time enough to do them, like, fully. I want to be sure I have the time to do it, and the motivation, like, I need to be in excited enough about it that I'll follow through on it. That's my mentality on it. But I got some cool ideas. No, Daniel's still away, so... He is three hours earlier than I am, so he's probably around somewhere. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, this game does have some kind of fishing thing. Yes, it does, but I have not gotten there yet. Backpack. I think you could just sell it, but I don't know if you're supposed to sell it. Oh, I could stack the, um, let's stack these two. Let's do this. Take the pink leaf. See how much I get for that. And let's stack this dandelion. There we go. This can go here as well. Alright. What are you? You bought the poop? You bought the poop! Oh, no. No, no, oh. I should probably not be selling poop. All right, here we go. I kind of do want to hang on to the backpack in case it gives you extra storage, though. That would be worth keeping. I'm making some bank, but not a whole lot. You want to buy that pink leaf, come on. Or a carrot, I want to see what they're worth. Okay, that's another 10. The daisies are kind of just generic. Level one. I could stack daisies at this point as well. Let's, uh, let's do that. We're gonna sell the feather. Hopefully I don't need it. And stack the daisies and another daisy. All right. Why did I pick the name DJ Stir for the channel? Oh, 35 for the uh, pink leaf there. Um, my sisters used to call me Stir Fry. And I was asked to DJ a Battle of the Bands event because I used to host a TV show, a TV show and a news segment. And uh, I was like, okay, sure, I'll do it. And I'm like, I need a silly DJ name. And so one of my friends used to abbreviate Stir Fry as Sturf. And I just thought it was so silly. And so uh, I was like, well, okay, I'll take a DJ name. Let me DJ Sturf. That's going to sound ridiculous. So I just took DJ Sturf. And then I started playing DDR, and everyone knew me by DJ Sturf competitively. So I just kept that nickname, that moniker. Um, I was a DJ in college and uh, did FM radio DJing, more of an MC type gig. I, we did have a turntable, but I'm, I'm no good with a turntable. But um, uh, I don't really have anything else to sell. Here, have a lemon. Uh, I want to keep that backpack. I'm going to wait until I hear back. Someone bought something for 40 What did you buy? What did you buy? Oh, a carrot for 40 What? You bought a carrot for 40 bucks? That's an expensive... You must be shopping at Whole Foods or something. That's a normal price there. Oh my goodness. Hold on. There. Alright, how much did a lemon get? Ten. A lemon gets you ten. Okay, that's not worth that's not worth it. I still don't know how to make lemonade. I need to figure this out. There's a lot to this game that I haven't figured out, which is actually pretty great. I like that. All sorts of optim optimization can come from this. This is gonna be cool. Just gotta figure stuff out. I'll buy a bunch of hydrangeas. Start selling those. I bet there's no um, there's no high capacity of sales. So it just seems like a random in terms of what they're buying. And so if you just plant nothing but hydrangeas, then that would be. Probably the way to go. I'm a I'm potato king. I come in peace. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, the show was called Teen Scene. Don't look up Teen Scene because there was also some bad site called that. So just don't go to that. But um, 
that aired on it was local cable it's not closed circuit but it was a cable station and then the t news was the uh the news segment and then uh res rock was the radio show yeah history of broadcasting it was fun i might do something like that in the future but no guarantees um, did I feed these already? Yes, okay. I need to get more stuff. I'll just go out and buy the hydrangea seeds. Hey, what are you what are y'all doing? Alright, at least they're getting away. Yo, DJ Surf, let me hold your pump it up cab. Okay. DJ Hero. Hey, I know some, some people who were ranked number one. I know both people who were ranked number one for quite a while in DJ Hero. The first year it was out. Um, I, I I don't know. It just it never really appealed to me. It's the same thing with... Uh, uh, what was it? With Guitar Hero. I just, uh, I just didn't dig the music so much and the dynamics. So, I mean, I can play stuff on Expert easily. It's just... I didn't really have any interest in keeping going with it at all. Alright, we're just gonna buy 10 packs of this. Buy it like it's basketball cards and plant it. Hopefully the basketball cards will grow. One thousandth of a million. Uh... What are you referring to for a thousand? Hold on, hold on, I get, hold on. I'm blocking chat here, so I'm not seeing all of it. Hold up. All right, here we go. I'm back. Call you bid stuff. What is that? What does that mean? Uh, Soul Caliber Six. I think you're ready for that. LOL, LOL, LOL. Internet's that guy actually was a nationally competitive um, Soul Caliber player, and I believe what you went to Evo for that, right? monster at that game. And now Soul Calibur 6 is coming out. He's going to dominate that too. A time. <laughs> oh, we need a money match, playboy! <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. We we knew a guy who, uh, who said that all the time. Even when it, he just had no chance of winning stuff. He just always wanted money match people. Big stir. Okay, I get you. I get you. I mean, I'm like I'm six foot one. I, I used to be six two. I guess it's weird. I have a weird relationship with my height because I was six two, and then I was like six zero oh, for I guess like enough for the physical to read six zero. Oh. It's probably just a mismeasurement. Then this year I'm, I'm six foot one point three inches, which is really cool because that's like six thirteen. So it's a pretty uh, significant number in DDR. Um, I watered the wrong one. That's about it. I'm about I'm between six one and six two. So, Napster. I don't. <laughs> I guess. I mean. Oh man, I'm not gonna stop you, but <laughs> if Nap is over, then that's just pretty pretty much obsolete at, at that point. I don't, I'm not convinced that it's actually going to be done, but we'll see. Take a break at least. Probably have some kind of spin-off. Would be my guess. But I'm not Scott Cawthon, so who knows. Oh, maybe I could take a dump on the crops. Here we go, taking a dump. Oh, can I use it? No, I guess you cannot. I wonder what you can use it for, because I would, I would think fertilizer. But I guess not. Why are you outside? No. No, no, no. Come back. You're going to get lost or eaten. Or both. I wish you could close that gate. It would be wonderful. The buggy horizontal bar gate. Um, let's see. Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah. I love Plants vs. Zombies. 
Plants PVZ2 wasn't so good, but the Garden Warfare was also fun. That's a completely different type of game, though. I do have a few videos from uh, Garden Warfare, like the Infinity Time videos and all that. I have all the videos from the, uh, the Gnome challenges, but I just didn't get much response, so I'm just like, eh, I'll just keep the videos. I just don't really want to post them. Um, I mean, I didn't want to post them all at once, either. It's just like, no one watch it, and you're like, okay. Yeah, this game is baller. Um, LOL, 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 internets, A time. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Daniel Sound is the, uh, the main developer of this, so, he did, he did a pretty sick job with this. I, I like it so far. Um, gotta set up shop here. Or maybe I just can't. I wonder what to do with the doo-doo. Oh, we we're supposed to do something. Hold up. Oh, whoa, whoa, what, what? I just hit the T button and then this menu pops up. What? Okay, we're making lemonade. All right, what do we do? We're selling lemonade. With lemonade, I was afraid. Um, here we go. We're putting this on the table. Boom. Hopefully someone buys that tomorrow. Hopefully it won't be spoiled, but it has, an, it has enough sugar. It probably won't. These all are watered. Everything's good. Map. What, what was I supposed to do? Deliver to Frank. What was I supposed to deliver? I forget. We're running over there. Where is Frank? We're just going to run straight toward Frank. Frank is this way. All right, we're going. Hopefully I don't drown. <laughs> I still want to swim in motion. Oh, oh no, no. Derp crew. Oh man. It'll probably be a pretty cool model though. Uh, other than any game from the FNAF series, what is your favorite game? Uh, it's probably going to be Dance Dance Revolution, really. I, I like some other games like Slime Rancher, and apparently this guy can climb a mountain like no other. Wow. Whee! Oh Glad he didn't die. Uh, where is Frank? He's going to be labeled somewhere. Oh, here. It's the bulletin board. Frank the bulletin board. Except... Like ten purple daisy. Uh, did I get the, what? Where's Frank? I already did that, right? Uh, I can't talk to him. Oh, he. I don't have this stuff. I probably should have read that cloth. Ah, I'm gonna pass out soon. Lovely. Uh, can I go back to? I'm just gonna pass out. Do I lose my inventory if I pass out? Hope not, but I might. I need a teleporter or something. I'm not gonna get home. Ah, definitely not gonna get home. Stuck. I'm stuck. Let's see if my uh, if I lose my inventory for not getting home in time. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, Hydrantia? Yeah! Alright, that's being sold. Buy the wrong one again. There we go. Right, these are going on the table. Alright, we got five Hydrangeas. What was the other one? Is it just a daisy? Really? Hope not. Need to feed my chickens. This game is really fun, though. How do I gotta pick up poop? Ew. Ha. I wonder what it does, though. It grows your crops quicker, but I tried that. Alright. I have a chicken soon. I'm playing I'm playing one more day because this is this is pretty fun I was just gonna stop last last day but we're gonna play one more and then I, I do have to eat and then get to sleep <laughs> and take care of myself here uh, all right how much money do I have not much what do I have to do ten purple daisy 
Any hints on the map? Oh, there's a purple daisy. Never mind. Alright, guess they're spread around. Fetch quest. Need my purple daisy radar. My favorite color is purple. Oh, Lucas, thank you. <laughs> hey, Josh, what's up? <laughs> B5020, but can't climb stairs. Yes, correct. Correct. It's too 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 much uh, technique required. I can apparently like scale mountains like it's no other and then jump off and land like there's no problem. Oh, man. Need my purple daisies. And if I go the opposite way... Thorn. It looks like there's a lot of purple over this way, but I don't think I can get there, can I? Yeah, like, look at this. A little purple on that other side. I think the thorns are blocking it, though. Can I just, uh, swim? Swim, swam, swum. Alright, we're going for it. Uh, can I land over here? Might make or break it. Oh no, I can't. I can't. Uh, come on, you're gonna live. You're gonna live. Huh. There's a better way. There is a better way. We're gonna take the better way. Oh, the swimming wears you out, doesn't it? I'd imagine it should. Start playing Fortnite. Oh man. I don't know. That just doesn't seem like my style of game, really. It's actually Fortnite, by the way. It's not like what A Time just said. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, Mr. No Lifer? Why don't I play FNAF fan games? I probably will at some point. It's just the whole thing about the official stuff being done. And I guess now since I'm done, I can be like, okay, well, let's play the other stuff, which is pretty cool, too. Um, I, I played Nanny Nights. <laughs> you ever seen Nanny Nights? Oh, man. Nanny Nights, wow. That, that thing is something. That thing's something. Make a tea. Collecting everything. Great. Ooh, what are you doing? Hey, Fran. Hey, what's up, Freddy? This is Bonnie here. Oh, I'm doing all the fetch quests. I'm gonna have with like 50 quests, I'll finish none of them. All right, where are the purple daisies? I want to. Whoa, it just died. Oh, it's back! Oh, purple Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy! And Purple Daisy's got three more. Come on. Ooh, look at, look at those hippos. Oh, cabbage. And look at this! Oh my goodness! Are you gonna eat me? Like, hippos would probably bite me to death. Whoa, whoa, uh, 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 hippo clipping, this hippo is intense with the clipping. Okay, what's up, brawl? Oh, Mysterious. Hey, I'm usually on every Tuesday. I was on this Tuesday, too. Oh, the sheep. That is pretty sweet. Mm. I can open up a 
shop. Ooh, this is good. Wow, there are a lot of animals here. We're just getting into the good part of the game here. Standing on rams. Little floating horses. <laughs> Low priority. Ho floating. Horses and deer. I'm seeing some floating animals, but none like these. Horses and deer tend not to walk on the earth. Earth. This is called Garden Paws. This is pre-alpha, wow. Um, that horse is running in place in midair. It's still, this is pre-alpha, but it's a pretty cool game. I, I like it. Uh, one of my friends is the lead dev for this, so just helping him test this out. It's going to be alpha in October and should be released around the December time frame. Uh, that's at least the schedule, so yeah, plus or minus. But he's usually pretty good about hitting the release dates, so... At the very least, the Steam page is up. There's a Kickstarter open for it. Wow, that is a lot of ocean. Woo! Oh, that's beautiful, though. Wow, look at that. This is very scenic. That's cool. Wow. That's some cool scenery. He always does a great job with artistic design. That's more of what he does, is modeling, and... Yeah, that's really cool. I do not have that talent so much. My mom's an artist. I can do some art, but not like not modeling. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get back and open up the shop. I do wanna click this though. I need the I need the ten purple daisies. Whoa, whoa. What? 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 Yeah, I've heard of Smash Brothers Ultimate. Sea Wedge, what's up, man? Just playing Garden Paws here. I gotta get back and start the shop. I don't know where I am, though. Where am I? I'm all the way around. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I can get back from there. Actually, maybe I can. I'll try it. just going across. Floating in water. DJ Sturf equals Scott confirmed. Uh-oh. Y'all know too much. Nah, I'm not Scott. I'm, I'm not Scott. I'm not. <laughs> Even though, you check out the uh, Minecraft meta build video where Scott commented and he said that his other alias was DJ Sturf, so like, comment, and subscribe. I'm like, oh my goodness, you troll. February 31st, bruh. Uh, how many... Okay, I got nine pur uh, purple daisies. I need one more. I gotta open up the shop. Man, alright. Open. I gotta sell stuff. The funny thing is I could just put all the purple daisies up here. I'm gonna put... Oh, I got wheat. Ooh. People are gonna buy it and be like, Oh, man. Sounds like weed. <laughs> and it turns out, nope. It was actually wheat. So if you're gluten allergic, then that is a problem. Um, <laughs> let's see, then this replaces that. I'm going to plant these while people buy stuff. And we got five here, six, and seven. Oh, oh or not, or that. All right, what are you buying? Yes. Ten, five, and thirty-five. I like it. Yeah, buy that cabbage. 40 bucks for cabbage. This is Whole Foods. Oh, man. I gotta plant some of these. 
Yeah, keep buying stuff. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You all rock. You all rock my bank account. What's a good SD storage card size? Uh, I have a 256 gig SanDisk Extreme Pro, I think. What is it? It's a U3. Um, I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> Everyone's buying stuff. This is great. So, oh, so about a hydrangea for 70? Wow. That's actually pretty well worth it. How much for the lemonade? 50. 50 for the lemonade. Okay, so it's basically doubling your money. But I didn't know about the uh, the, the crafting thing here. Like, uh, I can make a wooden block. I can make a wooden block! I'm just putting this together, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the store is now closed, everyone. Sorry. I know y'all showed up and showed out, but you did not actually have anything to buy. So, it was like the troll store. Sorry. Um, wooden block. Can I put this anywhere? What do I do with the wooden block? I gotta build something, right? Where can I build? I bet you can build all sorts of stuff, can't you? Let's see. Pickaxe! Wooden pole. And a stone block. And where's a stone block? Oh, man. What is this? A cloth. Alright, so five wool. A torch. A hammer. A uh, stone block. What do I do with this stone here? Stone block. How do I make the stone block? I got stone. Maybe I have to unlock it. Should go actually finish these quests now. <laughs> hey everyone saying hi. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Rockstar Freddy's too robotic. Please deposit five coins. It sounds like Mark Zuckerberg. Not really. You have to you have to um, go to Congress and then sit on an inductive battery charger so you still have energy. <laughs> um, what is this game? This is a uh, garden pause. I saw the spray bottle thing. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. Um, I gotta find one more purple daisy and then I'll have all the stuff I need for this one thing. Ten dandelion. I just want to buy the purple daisies. How do I do that? We're back over here. It's already 7 p.m. Okay, there's dandelion seed here. I'm glad it stays there. I left that a long time ago. Bearded Freddy over here. That's not even. That's not even a bear. <laughs> What's up, Owen? Oh man, shoutouts for days. Okay. I just need one more purple flower here, so I can make my purple drink. AKA the purple daisy tea. But I don't even know. I don't know where I would find them. I found nine. Yeah. Come on, purple daisy. Climb that mountain. You're gonna have some crazy calves and quads and glutes. Wow. Go through. Oh. Well blocked. I kind of wonder, like, I have nine purple daisies, but all right. I wonder if this would actually work. 
No, this is not going to work. No! <laughs> did I lose anything? Okay, I didn't. Okay, that's at least generous. Did I lose time? I probably did. Tech Wizard, what's up? All right, let's see. All right, we're going to be closing down the stream pretty soon here, though. I do need to eat, sleep, get to work tomorrow. And that's it. And I need to put together that, uh, the other green runs. I have those done. just need to post them. just need to cut out the chaff, get the winning runs, and then all that. It's more of, like, the optimized runs. Is this? Really? All right, let's, uh, let's drop the wooden pole. How do I drop it? Is there a quick button? I did too much. Uh, dandelion seed, bye. What is this? Red daisy. Can I mix it with a blue daisy? <laughs> I need a purple one. Let's go. Attempt number two, we're swimming across the river. The river sticks. Yeah, I did it, I did it. Aren't you proud of me, rabbit? Yeah, you are. You know it. Daisy. Uh. It's not a purple one, is it? No, it's not. Ouch. Looks like we're going to finish the day. We're probably going to get knocked out because I'm not going to get home in an hour. I sure try, but it's not going not to work. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> In the context of QA, I do a lot of automation. I'm almost always programming or setting up environments, but I'm under the organization of QA at the principal level. That is uh, just regular daisy. Oh man, I have nine daisies and I'm not gonna get the 10th today, but that's fine. Back at it the next day. But anyway, um, Are you doing well if you're at 8K working on 9K? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you just have to you have to build up little by little, set whatever goals and limitations you you want for that. Let me try to reproduce this bug as well, because it's gonna I'm about to pass out. So I started over here, but I was starting to black out. Let's see if I black out at the start of the day. No, okay, this 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 one is clear. Huh. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's about it. So, um, that was Garden Pause. Hopefully you all enjoyed that and the Q&A and all that. So, um, yeah. Keep setting goals. Have a great day tomorrow. Peace, God bless you, and have a great day tomorrow and the rest of tonight, I guess. So have a good night. And if you are in a zone in which it is day, then have a good day. And then a good evening. And then... Hopefully a good day after that, and then one after that, yeah, and then a good life, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. And Clint, thanks so much for stopping by. Lucas, everyone, Skyland, Ethan, Watch Piggy, um, everyone else I've already shouted out to. Yeah, Sweet Toast, I agree too. Also shout out to you. Yeah, the difference between 49.20 and 50.20 is, it's definitely a, a jump. Um, you can't avoid all the RNG issues with 50.20, and that's that's the biggest problem. Is everything is a Cartesian, basically. Everything gets multiplied on top of each other, and then, yeah. It's just a matter of getting a run that works, basically. All right, that's it, so good night. Peace. God bless you. Have a great day. Yeah. The end.